And so behind me, just here, um, you can see, actually, if I, if I just turn around the camera, uh, here is the snout of the glacier, literally just behind me. And so when this glacier would have been, um, would have advanced a bit further, this is then a Roche Moutonnet. And so as we get a bit closer, we'll be able to see all of the key examples of features that we see. Um, so on this side, um, as the glacier would have advanced up this side, uh, you'll see that it's, uh, there'll be a series of striation marks, which I'll try and get a bit closer to, uh, going on this side. And you can see that it's, it's lovely and smooth. A uh, whole series of rocks have just been kind of sheared off as the glacier has worked its way uh, through and over there. Um, so here are, here are some of these striation marks that just run along there. Um, meanwhile, as you get to the back of it, you get this, uh, this kind of stocky end. Uh, and this is where you will have got uh, plucking taking place. Uh, and so uh, as uh, pressure melting uh, finishes on this side and the pressure releases as the ice travels over this side, um, then the uh, water will refreeze and reattach itself to the glacier, pulling away parts of the, that material and leaving this kind of craggy end. And so that shows perfect examples of a Roche Moutonnet.